place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the like, ride. Whoa. Cute. Went inside. <laughs> Went inside. Life is good, best I've ever felt. What's up guys and good morning. We are super stoked today. The rest of our LSLs showed up so we can actually continue framing the third and the fourth wall. Also in the middle of the day today or sometime this morning, our plumber is supposed to show up with a camera so that he can camera our sewer line so that we can call the guy that put the sewer line in and say, hey, we've camered it. We know what's wrong. Come and fix it. We're going to wait for the plumber and uh, Brandon and I are going to get to work. In other news, uh, this little guy Leo has been teething or just like growing or something. He hasn't been wanting to eat any or drink any milk. Um, but then last night we put him to bed at like, you know, 7.30, 8 o'clock, his normal bedtime. He slept until 5.30 a.m., which is amazing. We've been waking up like two to three times a night. So that's uh, probably never going to happen again, but it was extremely wonderful that it happened at all in the first place. Do that Yay. again, okay? That was great. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Next to the building, there's going to be a staircase here and one of the corner posts for the actual deck. Right. So we got some unfortunate news this morning. Joel is under the weather. It's also like his first week of summer and he's <laughs> 16. So I don't know how like, you know, is he really sick? Is he just tired because he went hanging out with his friends? Does he maybe have a little bit of a sore throat, but also just wants to kick it with his homies? We gotta trust him this first I time. Don't, yeah, I don't know, so I, I feel bad. I don't want him to be sick, but he's not coming in today. We've been out here kind of brainstorming for a while. I really want to put a golf simulator in our little addition over here on the side. We'd also like to put a small climbing wall in here, so I think we've decided that that addition over there will be an extra car garage, and then this addition over here is gonna be like golf simulator rock climbing wall there'll be a bathroom it's kind of like a almost like a gym like a workout room cool and we'll uh, we'll see how that goes still square uh nothing is square but both corners of this wall are level okay what we're hoping for good All right, well, perfect timing. Dana just got here. She's hanging out with Leo for a little bit today, and it's great to hear them speak Spanish together. Obviously, Leo isn't really speaking back, but he's listening, and even just that little bit of exposure is really important for him at any age, but especially such an early age to get uh, his ears ready to be speaking other languages, and it's such good practice for me. My new word of the day is salta. Salta, which means jump, jump, jump. Um, so Leo's doing lots of jumping, and another good news, Trent, we just got an email from Jason. He sent us the first iteration of the new plans for the garage, and uh, it's looking really good. That's cool. It's pretty nice, right? Looks like Minecraft. <laughs> All right, so we just got the plans for the garage with the updated revisions, and uh, we'll put a little screenshot of them right here so you guys can see kind of what it looks like or what's projected right now. We're really excited with how it looks, and we're gonna be super pleased to have that extra space. It's gonna be an absolute necessity. So I just called uh, the architect to give him some changes, and hopefully he can you know kind of whip those up in the next day or two, and uh, we can get it over to structural engineering, which is probably gonna take the longest, and then we get it to the city, and they're like, oh, you know what, we'll just approve this right now. <laughs> Fingers Kevin, crossed. Kevin said the city should take six weeks. Oh. So after we build these two walls, uh, you know, we might just be building built-ins in every room. I mean, my main concern was that we wouldn't, like we have a really short building season up here. Obviously it snows really early in the season, but I was thinking about timelines. And when we started building the house, we didn't start framing till September 21st. Yeah. So we have like a few more months of yeah. really yeah. good weather before we start to feel like crunched for getting this all built before it snows again. We didn't even break ground with the excavator uh, two years ago until like July 23rd. 
So we have like five or six weeks from now until we even broke ground. And they had to excavate the entire property. They had to do all the septic mm -hmm. stuff. So like we're, we're totally in good shape. Um, I think our challenge is going to be finding a concrete contractor, mm -hmm. mostly because I don't, I don't yeah. know one. <laughs> so I'm going to have to try and find a concrete contractor. And then I'm probably going to rent a mini X and try and do some of the excavation because it's going to be pretty minor. Um, Good luck. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Been selling things I well. What facts belong it's hard to say. The pattern is so hard to tell. But together that's a game. Round. The more we build though, the more I'm just continuing to be a little bit overwhelmed with how tall this garage is going to end up. But we also did just get a phone call from the plumbing plumbing company that's going to come scope our septic line. So Trent, oh, it's it's ripe over here. He's got the septic lid uncovered and he's going to clear the line just to make sure there's nothing in there blocking it at all. So when they scope it with a camera, there's a really clear view of whatever issues might be going on in there. Not ripe over here. Oh, you can't smell it because you're in it then. You don't have the lid off. Oh, what is that smell then? Probably like dead mice or something in. No, it smells like poop. Oh, might be Terry. It might be you. Might be me. <laughs> the desert of a shore is still love the ways to make us home. Splashed on me. Ew! Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and say a little viewer discretion advised. <laughs> so this is our septic. The drain line oh. comes in like this and then it turns downwards. And that pipe is it such an angle and twisted that I'm almost positive there's no way that pipe is not broken mm. or at least bent downwards, like within the first four or five feet here. And every time I run this line in, where I actually disrupt the blockage, Lika, get out of there. Hey. Where I actually disrupt the blockage, blockage is like very, very soon. It's not like way up there or anything like that. So needless to say. Frank knows where to go. This is the septic field. The poop over here. <laughs> Hear that rushing? Tons and tons of stuff just coming out immediately. Yeah. There was a There shouldn't blockage. be a blockage right there. Like, hear how much water pressure is coming through there? Yeah. This whole line is just full. Hmm. And as soon as you block, unclear that, boom, all the water comes down. It just flushes itself out. The good thing is the septic tank drains properly, which is what we were concerned about initially. But in order for him to raise this up so that it drained properly, it created some kind of issue here pre-septic tank. For those of you who are new around here, Trent has worked as a drain cleaner for uh, years in his life. So we're very familiar, or he's extremely familiar with um, the issues that can go wrong in a septic system or in a plumbing system in your house. He knows how to clear these lines and he's extremely diligent about only making sure we use septic safe toilet paper and put nothing but human waste and septic safe toilet paper in our toilets. Nothing, we don't even put food in the garbage disposal. The fact that it's blocking up so constantly means there's some issue with the slope of the line or like he said, the ground has settled, there's a crack in the line. Who knows, but we are hopefully about to find out what's going on here very soon. In these times, just please be patient. Be my show, be my home. Nasty. Drag us out and build us up again. Put things right and let me go. Trent, now that you're nice and disgusting, I actually brought you something. I don't know if you necessarily want to eat right after you touched all that poop, but. It's got a wrapper. You know, it's got a wrapper, yeah. Pick your poison. Uh, fruit punch or cherry limeade? Fruit punch, please. Here you mm. go. Cherry limeade is the best one. Is, is it? it? I'll be the judge of that. I'm not a cherry guy. <laughs> All right, you need anything else from me? Okay, I appreciate the call.
All right, thanks. Bye-bye. What's going on? They said the technician was on his way up to your house and his vehicle lost all power and he had to turn around. Hmm. How do you turn around if it lost all power? So what's the solution? He said he's going to reschedule us for Monday, but I'm just going to call some other place and try and get him to come tomorrow. Okay. Okay, septic solutions coming soon. Uh, being rescheduled for another day, unfortunately. In the meantime, Trent, put a lid on that tank before you forget. The thing that makes me a little nervous is that it's great we're starting to frame early in the season, but we have the entire peak of summer. And like, it's already hot. It's already hot and it's like not even full summer yet. Oh, it's gonna be a long <laughs> summer. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot one. This wall is going up quick. Yeah, it is. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually pretty stoked. We've got like five more pieces left. And then this wall is done. We just gotta block it. We have one piece of blocking to do over there. And I assume by the time we're done with the blocking, it'll be the end of the day. So tomorrow we'll start working on the wow. the wall that's got all the beams and everything. Nice. That's <laughs> Saving be the in, best for last. That's yeah, going to be intense. Maybe it's because they have some experience under their belt, but I feel like it's going way faster now than it did on the house. Um, it is approaching the time for Dana to leave for the day. So I'm going to let her go and hang out with Leo for a little bit while these guys finish up blocking and bracing and just making sure that their freshly framed wall doesn't blow away. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, What's up guys and good morning. Yesterday, Brandon and I put in a lot of work. Even though Joel was sick, Brandon and I still accomplished quite a bit. We ended up finishing this third wall. We got all of the blocking in place. We even put up one of the California corners that's gonna be for the front wall with all the beams for the garage. And let's just say yesterday it was super hot and I think today is also going to be a little miserable. Uh, not to mention Joel is gonna be here today. He was feeling better, so he's coming up. Brandon and Joel are actually rolling up right now at the exact same time. Oh, that's cute. But. Today, we're gonna to be building that fourth wall. We're gonna be putting up the garage beams, which are really heavy and really big, and there's a lot riding on this wall. This wall has to be super perfect, super straight, super sturdy. It's gonna be a fun day. How you doing, Joel? Good. Did you get lost? Yeah. What happened? Um, so I tried to go the way you go, uh -huh. and then I took a wrong turn. I was like, dang it, I need the GPS. So I called the GPS, and I read the GPS wrong, so I thought I meant to make a U-turn. I was on a skinny road, so I got stuck on the skinny road. And then I was like, oh, four-wheel drive, I forgot I had that. So I fixed it, I was like, oh, I gotta turn around again. So I went up and went to someone's driveway, turned around, and now I'm here. Nice. And you just coincidentally adventure. ran into Brandon, or did yeah, he rescue you? Yeah, that happened. Nice. See, that's why I want you to drive up here, is because you need the life experience. I'm just getting stuck all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, way to, way to get yourself out and, and get yourself here. Good morning. Good morning. How you feeling, Joel? Better. Better? Happy Father's Day. Oh no, what's this? <laughs> That's just part of it. Get out of here. <laughs> Propane tank. Mm, what could it be? <laughs> Brandon's the team. I'm strong. Oh jeez. Good girl. Not even a picture. <laughs> 
It's a, a surprise! Is it a barbecue? No. Keep guessing. Are you sure? <clears throat> yeah, I guess. It could, you could can. be. You could cook on it. <laughs> is, it a, is it a fire table? Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> it's a marshmallow roaster. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. I was under the impression that Allie shipped this to you and that Allie was giving this to me. Well, thank you, dude. No, oh, I haven't gotten you anything. This is all Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> now we can burn off all the mosquitoes. That's right. We have mosquitoes up here for about four days, and right now is that four day period. Yep. So if we're outside in the morning or the evening, all of a sudden there's like little mosquitoes everywhere. So, well, cool. I'm gonna not set it up right now, but maybe tonight. Tonight. Absolutely. That's legit, Brandon. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. This is great. You guys needed something out here. Yeah. And the little cover comes off and on. Yep. Thank you, dude. And then these are like pieces of tile. This is so sick. It's a nice Yay. sturdy top. Well, that's super exciting. Brandon and Sonny and family, thank you so much. You I know it's a Father's Day gift, but I'm excited about it also. And uh, it's something that we've been talking about and needing for a long time. So it's gonna be an awesome addition to the patio deck space for the summer, but also for the winter. I'm gonna hop it up like Tim Taylor and make a flame like this tall. <laughs> Just keep it way out over here. Not near the house. <laughs> I was gonna get a wood burning one, but I think it would melt the deck. <laughs> yeah. With all those hot coals on the bottom. Yeah, this is more controllable and yeah this will be better i know these guys are itching to frame up the last wall of the main part of the deck last night we actually got garage. confirmation i mean <laughs> the garage <laughs> thanks <laughs> the main part of the garage i'm really tired <laughs> last night we did actually get confirmation from our architect that um he is submitting our modified plans to the structural engineer so hopefully the expanded garage is going to be sent to the county for permitting and approval soon so in the meantime we're finishing this main uh i just almost called it a deck again this main garage and uh hoping to what do you think that last wall will get done today maybe that's the hope that's the hope if we can do it it will be done what's your confidence level i'm just tired <laughs> i can't give rough estimates right now <laughs> how do you feel nasally nasally also scared of mosquitoes so that's gonna be fun so far the mosquitoes have held off so hopefully uh, they'll continue to not hang around. I don't think they'll be out in the sun with us. They like the shade. That's true. We're staying far away from the shade. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately. <laughs> Try to wake up from a dream It's hard as it seems Birds are flying all around So far Actually, I just want to confirm with you that you are going off of plans. What? You're going off of actual plans. You're not just like you winging it. It's a general idea. You don't actually have to follow the plans. You just have to be according to code. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> So really like the inspector doesn't even care if you follow the plans. It's really like uh, they just make sure nothing's out of code. And if you don't follow the plans and then the house falls down, it's just on you. So, at least that's my understanding. It's probably fine. Oh boy. So cold out here today. Yeah, I'm yeah, freezing right now. Go for a jacket. I think Let's I want my jacket. fireplace up. Yeah. It's like nine o'clock and we're all sweating to death. It's so hot out here. <laughs> One thing that I forgot is that the beams that go over our garage openings have to have one and a half by wall width LSLs horizontal with three trimmer studs and four four king studs we need 
more. We're taking a trip to BMC. Dang it. <clears throat> We're taking a trip to BMC. All right, taking a quick break. Gonna go grab some stuff from BMC. It's our first time leaving Leo with Dana at the house by themselves and she's been awesome. I don't really have any concerns leaving them alone, but it's the first time, you know. Whoa, is that the yes, normal least, sound yeah. this door makes? Do that. Whoa. Um, I'm sure they'll be fine. I'm riding with Joel. The guys are behind me. This is also my first time riding with Joel driving, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, Full confidence, right? The first time was when I almost crashed his truck. Oh, you're right. <laughs> we don't actually talk about the first time. <laughs> We were just listening to some Blink-182, which is really cool, hip, edgy music 20 years ago. And we were all talking about how cool it is, and Joel was like, I have no idea what this is. And we all just realized that we're old. And we just pulled up to BMC and they finally changed their sign because uh, BMC was actually bought by Builder's First Source. So every time we say we're going to BMC, we're actually going to Builder's First Source because I don't think BMC even exists anymore. But uh, it'll always be BMC to us. No gloves. Fresh nails, no gloves. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, we'll find out in an hour. I think you it's fine. No, not at all. You can see it. So we're uh, here at Builders for Source, and uh, <laughs> one of the pieces of lumber just fell off the stack and landed directly on Allie's foot. She's not wearing steel-toed boots. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. I doubt you're fine, but it's likely you're. I'm good. Likely you're thinking you're fine. <sighs> I'm not bleeding, so. Alrighty. We're good. Apparently, that noise is normal. I don't think it is either. <laughs> so the truck makes like a shaking, heavy metal uh, I have changed my shoes, thoroughly inspected my foot. I don't think anything is broken, but it's definitely. My big toe is really swollen and pretty tender, so I can't fit into the shoes I was wearing before, so I have on other work boots, still not steel-toed, but I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be able to save all my toes and appendages. I just need to walk it off. And in the meantime, these guys have made huge progress getting up the first header on this main side of the garage. Pretty extravagant, huh? 
I don't know if we'll be able to fit anything in here. You could ride a motorcycle and a wheelie through that garage door. Don't tempt yourself. But the truck barely fits through it. So, <laughs> you know, don't design anything yourself ever. <laughs> House, garage, you'll regret it. You have a lot of skills. Design is not one of them. <laughs> Uh, we're basically moving on. It's just getting hotter and hotter. I think it's like 100 degrees now. It's probably 72. Yeah, probably. It'll be 78. 78, like okay. We've got to build another post over here, another post over here, put that header on and finish out this wall the same way that we did that. We basically built half the wall and we just got to build the other half now. And uh, Joel has to leave in 35 minutes, so. Looks like me and Brandon are just going to build this wall. <laughs> Hi. Looks like it. <laughs> we nailed all my god pieces to this. A million nails. We are trying to basically square up all four walls and tie them all together and put a post on this end of the wall before we connect it to the other main front of the garage. And these guys are realizing we might be more than a hair out of square. So the problem is that this back wall, the concrete, is sloped outwards a little bit. Mm -hmm. So when we were trying to square these up, we were leveling off of that outside LSL over there and we pulled these until it was level. Problem is our four foot level was reading level on a bowed mm. LSL. So even though we thought the wall was square and, or what we thought it was level, we nailed everything together over here and that's like shaped like a banana. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> we have to pull that top plate and it needs to be made like an inch longer. doesn't matter how experienced these guys are uh, or how many times they've done this before, whenever they start climbing over framed walls without standing on the ladder um, and just hoping that the walls that they just recently built actually supports their body weight and doesn't crush under them, it freaks me out every single time. You're not a very good carpenter if you don't trust your own wall. <sighs> True. Scary logic. That worked out well. Yeah, so as soon as we cut off, or as soon as we cut this top plate right here, hubong, the wall like went back into square. Like I was saying. It made that noise too. It, it, hubong, it, <laughs> it made that noise. <laughs> it was because of the, uh, the, you know, out of square cement wall that we were trying to build around. And so if this wall was built perfectly square, and then we built a perfectly level wall on that cement wall, there would be this big gap. Right. So there, there is that gap and it ended up being there when we were trying to rack this wall to tie everything together, we ended up bending all these LSL studs and we only have a four foot level. So in a 13 foot wall, the top was just kind of bent over and the, the top plate was pulled so it was too short. Now that we've cut it and split it, there will be like, you know, three quarter to an inch gap is gonna be bigger in between these two studs right here. But we're not gonna tell anybody about that. <laughs> And everything and else will be square. And it should be fine. These guys aren't gonna tell nobody. <laughs> it's nice that they caught that and that they were able to figure out uh, a nice solution for it. And honestly, a quick solution. I know these guys are dying. It's the end of the day. It's really hot out. Joel took off. He was exhausted. We've been working in the sun all day and I know these guys are really happy to just wrap things up. They want it to like be neat and tidy. They don't like leaving strings loose at the end of the day. So I know they're happy to wrap this up and uh, when we come back on Monday, today's actually Friday, um, we'll be ready to finish framing the rest of the main wall. I wanna die. Come on in the shade. Oh, I think this is Brandon's shirt also. Yeah, he's coming to get it. Hi, Leo. Are you a teething boy? Yes, Are so you teething good. all day? All right. Joel's always trying to take off early so he never gets to reap the benefits of the otter pops. Yeah. There you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's Friday. We got half of that wall framed. On Monday, we'll finish the rest. Mm. 
Looks like somebody's enjoying the Otter Pop. Mm. They're organic from Whole Foods. So They're good pops. They're healthier than the regular sugary induced Otter Pops. Good pop. Good pops. 100% fruit juice. Oh, good. Could be better, but they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Well, we didn't get the uh, complete wall built that houses the garage openings, but we did get half of it built, and then we did get the top plate ran all the way across. Hopefully over the weekend, we won't have any crazy inclement weather and uh, the walls don't blow down. But we haven't sheathed anything, so nothing really has enough wind resistance to like blow over. And I'm pretty confident it's all gonna stay put until Monday when we can actually finish framing. Are you gonna help us frame, Leo? Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready to be tapped in? Yeah. Are you ready to be tapped in? <laughs> <sighs> I am probably gonna take a nap because yeah. I'm absolutely exhausted. I don't but. blame you. It was a long day. And honestly, we still don't really have a solution for the septic system. Did you reschedule? Where did things leave? Yeah, they're gonna be coming on Monday. Okay. I wanted to go with a different company, but I'm also lazy. So. <laughs> That's okay. Um, and another good news, I don't think my toe is broken. So no, it's good. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I had a little mishap, but. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure, watching us frame up the third and almost the fourth wall, yeah. make sure you guys let us know by Make sure you guys let us know by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks guys, we love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. I was on a plane to California. I had all the time I'd ever need. Did you even know I was looking for you? I think that I was hiding in between. How long?